January 2nd, 2022, about 12.02 p.m., Shane Hallen Patterson, a 33-year-old personal trainer of West London, Great Britain, was shot and killed by unknown assailants at a villa in Bog Heights, St. James. It was reported that Patterson came to Jamaica on December 29, 2022, on a Virgin Airline flight at the Sangstas International Airport, along with a male companion who is a construction worker of an Harlan Road, London address. They spent three days at an apartment, then subsequently booked at a villa in Bog Heights, St. James, for five days, starting January 1st, 2023, at 5 p.m. On that day, they attended a popular concert in Priory, St. Anne, where they met up with one O'Shane Richards, O.C. Shaba, construction worker of a Kingston 13 address. Richards was deported from the UK in May 2013 after his conviction and a prison term of 33 months for possession of crack cocaine. On Monday, January 2nd, 2023, about 5 a.m., they returned to the villa accompanied by O'Shane Richards. All three reportedly retired to bed in separate rooms. About 12 midday on Monday, January 2nd, Patterson woke up and went to the pool deck along with Richards and they were both talking on their phones. Richard reported that his back was turned to Patterson when he heard several loud explosions sounding like gunshots. He reported that he looked around and saw a lone man dressed in a black hooded sweatshirt with a handgun shooting Patterson. Richard allegedly ran off in bushes. The police were summoned and on arrival, Patterson was seen clad in a grey shorts on his back in a pool of blood with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the upper body and head. From credible information received, Shane Patterson is well known to the UK authorities and has an extensive criminal record for a number of offences which include narcotics, violence and firearm. Our investigation so far has theorized that the murder was a contract killing that emanated from Britain. There's no evidence that Patterson was robbed or has any connection in Jamaica. The investigation is making significant progress and we are working with our international partners. If anyone has information they think